What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming out just another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, we are still working that symmetrical triangle, but I also want to show you another potential pattern which could yield another potential breakout, guys, and you could ride that from breakout to support or resistance either way, guys, and I'll show you exactly what that pattern is and how to take that trade on your favorite exchange. And guys, are we going to hit the pattern target for the Wyckoff distribution? It's all the way up here at $42,000, guys. Remember, I've been talking about the $42,000 level being a major point of resistance, as is the major point of support down at 287. Which way are we going to break, guys? We have a lot to go over today. Wanted to talk about a few other altcoins as well, guys, and what institutions are doing right now with their money. Are they getting in? Are they selling? Are they holding? I want to show you guys exactly what I've found, guys. If that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe and like, and I'm going to dive right into the price action. And don't forget about all of my giveaways. And if you're interested in becoming a student, head right over to the website and join the student program. All right, guys, so let me show you what I found right here in the price action. So we're still obviously working this big symmetrical triangle, but there could be another triangle that's forming out right now, guys. And we definitely have some relevance here. So let's just check it out. So for instance, right through like that, guys, and that's definitely very clear as day. We have many points of support here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points, guys. We have to factor that in, okay? So at least right now, it looks like the descending wedge aspect from the previous video is irrelevant, at least as of now, until we get a breakout of one of these patterns. For instance, we break out to the downside, we can start to rethink about maybe another pattern forming out and getting another support there. But guys, just in simplicity, we are working these patterns very tightly and we are building up for a big move here remember as we consolidate think of it like molecules the more pressure the more opportune it has to expand okay guys so that's exactly what we're looking for and guys for instance say like we break out right through here or we even just break the support you know play that even down to this support because there's a very high chance that we will end up hitting it guys and remember to play your indications in combination with your patterns to make that a reality for yourself okay but just in simplicity, guys, we break the resistance, you go long, we break the support, you go short. And especially if you've missed it and it's already breaking this one, okay? Definitely chase that, guys, okay? And let's zoom out and quickly talk about Wyckoff for a second. So, guys, just for transparency, I'm going to whiz right over this. If we were to actually hit Wyckoff distribution accuracy here, we'd be hitting a price by the end of phase D right here. Okay, so we have a little bit of work to do. We need the breakout of this pattern and start to work up. But guys, it could easily have a little bit of chop before we get there. There is a lot of month left for price action, guys. Remember last year, the price teetered around 10 to 15,000 for many, many months and then had a massive movement, guys. We could have a very mimicking situation right now and I do have some information to back that up, guys. For instance, institutions are finally starting to buy again, guys, and we're gonna go over all that information shortly. But let's just talk about a few other altcoins before we move right along. Okay, let's talk about Electronium. Okay, guys, so some interesting news. Let me zoom way in here. Okay, so we definitely have a very clear descending wedge that we're working in right now. Or it could be a descending tightening wedge, I guess. It depends how you measure it here, but let's just try it like this for right now. Okay, so this is going to end up having a movement pretty soon, guys. This is looking very tight. We're either going to get a breakout to the downside or a breakout to the upside, okay, guys? Remember, like I said, we were going to work this wedge up front for days we did, and then we get the movement to the right, guys. And a nice indication plays right prior to the breakout, guys. Remember, the indication plays, for instance, say like you have a wedge, price action's bouncing around, breaks out right there. You get the indication right there, the breakout play right there, and then multiple pattern opportunities, Okay. All of those are excellent chances to make some good profit, guys. And when you're using leverage, my gosh, you could be making thousands a day off of each of these little trades, guys. It's incredible. But make sure you're factoring that in corner, guys. And let's look at the longer term here. Let's look at least the one hour here. Let's zoom way in. Okay, guys, so remember how I said we need to break above the 200? Well, we've been still getting rejected here. And yes, guys, right now we are downtrending right now. So short term down. We could get a breakout over the next few hours to the downside here, guys. But look at this big volume spike. A lot of people have just accumulated some electronium right here. That's a really good sign. And guys, I can't stress enough. This is one of those coins that is going to get a massive uptick. Okay. Once it gets a little bit more recognition, a little bit more hype under its belt, you guys got to understand it doesn't have that yet. When it has that, you can start to see these big prices, specifically then an uptick, guys. That's exactly what I'm waiting for. It's exactly what I'm watching. Watch for the EMAs to get a good flip, show that polar price action, guys. But let's be real, we're long overdue for an uptick, okay? It will come. 
Okay, just hold your bags accordingly. And just for transparency, guys, I did take small, small, small profit at the top. Yes, my account fluctuated over a million dollars in my Electronium holdings, guys. All right, I, I can handle that. I don't know. I, I, I'm very strong with price action fluctuation. Uh, I really see my end game. There's not a doubt in my mind I, I don't die someday with at least more than $10 million, even with just what I have now. Okay? So, for instance, guys, if these coins even do a monocule of what I project, I mean, my gosh, guys, I could be looking at some much higher numbers even for me and my family. And, guys, that's why I've been accumulating so much. Cryptocurrency is the future, guys. It is the future. All right, and I do have a couple other coins I want to talk about. Uh, let's just talk about Doge. A lot of people are very interested in Doge, guys, but let's just be real. It, it's getting a little bit of hit right now. The reality is it has no backing. We're trending down. This is where it's going to take a little bit of hurt. The only way this recovers is if Bitcoin gets a big solid movement to the upside, pulls the rest of the coins with it, guys. That's the only way Doge is going to get a big move or manipulation. Now, a lot of people are always joking with me, hey, can we get some manipulation to the upside? <laughs> I'm like, well... It doesn't really work like that. They want to manipulate it down. Yeah, it can get boosted up by people just getting in. For instance, institutions that looks like manipulation, but guys, they only, it seems to only be manipulated down. People only want to drive that price down to accumulate more. They want to scare you guys off so that you're selling off your coins so they can accumulate it. It's that simple, guys. I've been buying every single dip, basically board wide, especially my main coins. Okay, but for instance, Doge, this is not a coin I will be buying. Okay, but I want to just be transparent, guys. It, it it's one of those coins where you can get good profits on it but it's it is a huge risk it is a meme it is a joke so please understand guys yeah we could see a dollar someday but that will come when Bitcoin has its big move that will come with a little bit of uh, manipulation to the upside you know and that that's not as likely right now so let's see how this plays out but just watch for the switching of the EMAs and guys forget about the 200 and 100 we still need to just flip the 55 okay lots of work to be done guys let me just show you a little bit of what I was talking about. For instance, the news right now, CoinShares weekly report showing institutional managers are buying into crypto funds again after four weeks of profit taking. So for instance, they were taking profits over the last few months as the market started to go down. We broke those trends. Remember we talked about the bump trend and when to take profits. Guys, they do that. They do that well. And that's what separates them from the majority, okay, they're making lots of money. And let's be even more transparent when you have billions of dollars in an account and you get a small fluctuation, that's millions of dollars, guys. They're not willing to take that hit, okay? That's where professionals, managers, even like myself, come into play. Okay, so following the longest streak of selling since February 2018, institutional managers became net buyers of digital asset funds last week, offering cautious optimism that the worst of the market sell off has passed. Okay, so if that has actually happened, guys, that's a really good sign. And we could start to be looking to, hey, maybe break 42,000 within the next two months, guys. And I'm going to be transparent here. I've been talking about an August recovery for months since the drop at 64,000. Okay, that's what I've been talking about. Wow, if that actually happens that <laughs> on the dot like that, that would be incredible and a very early birthday present to me. That sounds good to me, guys. Let's see if it happens. But... Funds devoted to Bitcoin saw 38.9 million in weekly inflows, bringing the year-to-date total to 4.186 billion. CoinShares revised the previous week's total to reflect a small increase in net investments. Ether funds registered 17 million in weekly inflows, bringing their year-to-date total to 960 million and snapping three consecutive weekly outflows. Funds investing in Polkadot and XRP saw inflows of 2.1 million, 1.2 million. Guys, I think you're getting the idea here. Investors are getting back in the game. There's a reason for that, okay? A lot of people are very worried about going down into the 20s. Yeah, guys, it could happen, but please see that as one thing only. An excellent opportunity to get some last-ditch cheap coin. This is it. When we bump up to the next leg, yeah, we might come all the way down again after the blow-off, but guys, ah, man, there's not a reality you shouldn't be taking or should, shouldn't be buying in in the green log rhythmic zones and selling off in the red log rhythmic zones, guys. So try to do that. Remember, hold strong. Remember, that's what these big companies are doing. They are not going to be selling off, you know, weak hands, for instance. And guys, that's all the time I have for today. I just wanted to really educate you guys on what's going on in the market right now. These are some wild times and a lot of profits to be made. My gosh, guys, it's just incredible. 
And guys, if you aren't making the profits you feel like you should be, you really want to sign up to the student program like right now. All right. Go over to the website, get signed up, discover your financial freedom, guys. The success rate among the group is nearing 100%. It could actually be 100%. To my knowledge, no single student has actually lost money or gone negative. And my gosh, guys, uh, even for transparency there, I didn't think it would go that well. So guys, we're almost at the halfway mark in Zion. Uh, for instance, I can only do 25 a month. For hours. We're at 42, so you are booking into the next month now. Maybe we can get you in this month if there's a cancellation or something, but you get the idea. Guys, it's just something you have to experience to understand if you really want to take your finances into your own hands. This is how you do it. And just remember, if you don't come from a rich family, a rich family must come from you. I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later.